few. Greeting guys and gals and all those who have no Pacific gender. Pacific? Pacific? Atlantic? Pacific. Whatever. Um, this is my third time through Elix. I'm about ready to platinum on this third one with the outlaw requirements. But I see on the Steam forums for PC that a lot of people have an issue with Elix's difficulty getting a solid start. And I see a lot of tips, but the tips are generally um, pretty terrible. It's like, oh, get this weapon. You'll be able to use it at level 7. Uh, whatever. Okay, so this is me playing. Uh, start off on easy difficulty. There's no reason to start off on ultimate. You can if you want, but by the end of this video, you will have spent less than an hour in game. You'll have chest armor. You'll have leg armor, of course. You'll have the best headpiece in the game. I'm serious. You'll never wear anything else except for maybe a gas mask. Uh, these are going to be sunglasses that highlight all usable items. You are going to get the Chain Saber if you stick around to the end of the video, which requires 31 strength, 31 dex, and does 32 damage. You won't even have to like wait till level 7 or level 4 to uh, use it if you don't want to. Solid weapon. You will have arcs as a companion. You will have all of these things and still be level 3. Um, even on easy, I got one-shotted twice. Uh, I actually got one-shotted once, and then I think I accidentally attacked a critical NPC, and I'm like, oh, shit, reload. Uh, I'm going to tell you where to go, how to get there. Um, sorry if it's a bit long. Sorry if you don't like my voice. But this is honestly the best way to start in Elix. Now, I want to point out something here at the beginning of the game. The building I'm in right now, at the beginning of the game, has a second and third floor and a lot more to the area that you can't get to without a jetpack. But you can't get access to it till after you go through the first guy you meet at the bottom named Duras. So I don't realize that and I try to get back into the building several times. So my piece of advice after you get done with this video and everything you want from it. Come back here. Go back into this room. Look up. And the sunglasses you have will highlight all the lootable items. Have fun. You're going to have a strong companion. You're going to have good gear. You're not going to have to wait a long time to wear any of it. And it's going to take you less than an hour. Um, this is going to be as spoiler-free as possible. I'm going to be skipping dialogues. Did not mean to sit down. And now you're getting my in-game speech. So uh, I'm, uh, damn it. please put up with my noobness and uh, have a great day. This is a video showing the... Um, best way to start a game of uh, Elix. This is not going to be one of those insane hardcore videos with people starting off on Ultra. Um, I think they're a little bit crazy. I've beaten the game twice. And uh, as I progress through the game I usually turn up the difficulty. I mean, why make it harder than it needs to be at the start? There's no achievement for difficulty in this game. This is the last playthrough I need to get uh, Platinum on the PS4. There is no patch out for the PS4 at the moment. There is a patch for the PC, but it seems to have broken as much as it fixed, so... Small blessing. I'm here in enemy I will not be watching cutscenes, so it's going to save us some time. If I want answers, I just want people I to have to a uh, stronger him. start. And for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. So you do the beginning, which you saw me do, and you grab your adventurer's ammo, which gives you plus one to lock picking. And five Evacuation armor. sequence initiated. Remain calm. Set and up your hot bars. I usually have potions on the top, mainly on the left, from range service on the personnel. Right. Um, Thank you. I use a shield. I have it in the lower. I don't. Yeah, that's where I have my grenades. Or heavy weapons. Ugh, sorry. Yawning. So here's something most people don't know. Find never find out. Back. Grab your jetpack. The guy that took my armor must Turn around. Have it. Do not go no. forward. All I need to do is find a way out. Cross kilometers of enemy territory. Go back up. Find out why my brother tried to kill me. Soon as he stops talking. Wrong. Come on, come on, man. Stop talking. You're supposed to go back up. Back up. 
I might have to leave the room. I bet I do. Alright, so we're gonna talk to that one guy out front. Grab your pants. Grab the toilet paper. Early cash. Um, little tips. If you don't know about faction or if you're going to be clerics, never sell any of your old coins. Um, you want to hang on to your old coins. They're used as a currency for the cleric faction. Grab all the electronic scrap, all the metals. In this run, I will not be doing the Elix exploit. It makes you cold. Uh, cold and uh, is kind of like your attitude towards the world, and it will change your endings and your conversation choices. Edan, the land of the Berserkers. If they recognize me, they could finish Kel. If you're gonna make a ham, then first. If Prove you're not a thief, I might trust you. Uh, this run through, I'm going to try to decrease my cold as much as I can. Right now, I'm keeping myself neutral for a reason. So after we get to Goylet, we're Keep going to be... Uh, I'm going to be taking you to actually what's probably the best route. People are like, get gear, get stats, do quests. Fuck that dude, get a follower. Are you ready to go on? there are two things you want to get early in the game, even more so than stats. One is a follower and one's a specific item. Always do the cleric quest here. Alright, coming up here in a moment, I'm going to be placing some stat points. Um, I recommend your first two levels, your stats will be to pump stamina to 30. Alright, your first stat points, your first two levels of them should always go, always, into constitution. Every time. So your first two skill points should always be going into go. survival. Yes, thank you, other. good logical reason for this. Listen to him, he's smart. Two survival checks in the first town. That require a check rate of two. That's just um, I forget well, that in this video, I also show you how to get a very kick-ass necklace called the Poacher's Necklace, which gives you plus two survival and um, friend of beasts. I forgot. So um, you don't need to do that if you don't want to. But I do because I like the extra health and durability and the stuff it gives you because it qualifies you for the food buff. Always choose the food buff. Always choose the food buff and the stamina buff. Always. If you don't... Use your jetpack to quickly get your stamina back. Yes, you can. You like you're out of combat. All right. There we go. All right. Yeah. Um, good point about this, which I'll go into because I was focused more on fighting. Um, the jetpack treats it like you're temporarily out of combat and you start regenerating your stamina immediately and very quickly. Um, for the moment. Come over here. Don't ignore me. Ignore the other guy. Anyways, so uh, if you get the jetpack strike, which is incredibly powerful, it's perfect during a break. You've completed a combo or you're surrounded. Jetpack into the air, you get your stamina back, slam down. All right. Grab some stuff 
here. Uh, pick up the meat. Always pick up the meat. Maybe cook some meat. Now, anything he kills, you get you credit for. On? So you don't even need to follow him. You just have to progress. Which means you can go all the way up here. Go kill the stuff down there, which you can go back and loot. You're going to get full XP regardless. So why bother risking it? Sorry for the slowdown. Um... Even on a PS4 Pro, this game isn't optimized for shit. My apologies. Holy fuck me. Yep. Even on easy, even at full health, that sucker took me out in one hit. And that's uneasy. Did I equip my pants? I did not equip my pants. Well, that explains something. Now I got pants. Let's go. I'll come back and do that later. Pick up all this stuff. Uh, don't bother reading it unless you're on the PC. Because the PC fixed it so you get XP for reading. That has not happened on consoles yet. Have a rusty axe to sell. Loot the locker. We should get moving. Right. When the loot bug happens, you have to swap tabs in order to, to get, be able to loot. Make sure to grab all the cleric weapons. quick. And then drop down. Come over here. Got something to show you. These are easy to spot at night and they're held to spot during the day. Say hello to a Golden Whisper, one of the few crafting plants in the game that you're going to require. To make endurance potions, or mana potions, or mental energy, psionic, whatever the hell. Those special permanent stat potions. There you go. That's the first one you come across. Many people are like, grab Duras, or grab, um... Which is that berserker guy? Or grab the rogue dude. Um, you can, but uh, it's easier to grab Duras for the other guy after you have Arcs, which is the guy we're going to be going for. Let's go. These ruins. Okay, we met him. a week ago. Yes. It's been quiet since then. Well, apart from the scouting party on the edge of the forest, it feels like something serious brewing up there in the court. And that's bad news for us all. Oh, so even with the... Even on easy, with the little bit of armor you have, you 
get punted by a crit holder. So. Damn it. Alright. So while I wait for the fuel to come back, let's nom on stuff. That is equipped, right? Yes. Let's nom on some soup. Keep the dried meat for now. Eat your fried meat. You can uh, stack heals if you noticed. The farthest I've stacked no, is 11 I'm times. Not good enough for that. There was something hanging there. Those four houses things are necessary to complete the quest for Kalan, finding the secret of Kalan. When you collect them all, they'll tell you not only where to find Kalan, but the password for Kalan. Alright, I need to stop this here for a moment, and uh, I'll be getting some food. Alright, I'm back. So we've gotten up here, we grabbed the items. Critter. Yeah, I did. All right. So, um, are you ready to go on? In this run through, I'm not going to be using the Elix potion of use. Let's your go. bow is your friend. It does like 33 damage. from the left. Come in here. You'll aggro the rats. Which is fine. What you me? He'll help you take care of the rats. Ah, oh, yes, cigarettes. All right. And now we're also going to go down here. Pop yourself one of these magnesium torches.
There's some hand grenades, fantastic. A hand grenade, I should say. Only use it for emergencies. Got yourself a white stone, some metal scrap, electronic parts. There should be a recording somewhere around here. I think it's up one more floor. We need this damn thing, but these mutants are everywhere. There! There! You hear that? They're coming from above. Hey, you idiots! Move your asses and get them! Let's go. Careful, they spit blood at you. We should get moving. I'll get this one. Excellent. Go in and add it to Constitution. Now, people, wait, hold on. I want to point something out. People say, I actually could use a potion to do this. Constitution doesn't add to your health. Stats don't add to anything. Blah, blah, blah. Watch this. I'm at full health, right? It doesn't yet. Wait to your level. I believe what it does. Okay. Never mind. Forget me. I know what it does do now. It just, uh. There is a skill point called maximum health. Every time you pump into Khan, it raises your health. By that many points. Also going to want to get uh, 50 cultivators loaf. Just hang on to them. Grab the travel point. We should get moved. Thing we're going to do, don't go up to the gate door. Frankly, I hate talking to him. <sighs> go to the right. No Mason, I don't care what you have to say. I just skipped Mason because I don't want to hear him talk. Grab the pick lock and the recipe. From up top, we're going to want to grab all the arrows we can. We're going to want to get a little bit of XP by talking to our little robot, which is hidden in the pit. Gets him out of your hair to the next part of his quest. He's not that good of a companion. Grab the movement detector. There's a reason. It's for a later quest. 
it, you can get a bonus for having to survive it. Now most people are like, alright, you want to run to uh, get a good weapon uh, that you can use at level 7? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to... That stupid Idnis sword or that snake bite they keep telling you about. Yeah, that's those are like, if you dedicate all your points to combat, you may be able to use them at level 10. And uh, by then, I'm going to be using a weapon that does 20 points more damage for 20 points less of stats. Whenever, okay, something to keep in mind. 90% of the legendaries in this game... Oh, there's something I did want to do in here. Suck, okay? They require seriously huge investment in stats for damage that is comparable to base weapons of other factions. Like that Ignis sword people are telling you about? That's stupid. That has like a level 50 or 60, I think it's either dex or strength requirement, and it does 49 damage. That's disgusting. Um, I'm going to show you where to get a better weapon, but I'm going to show you the best way to do this. The best thing you can get early on is not a strong weapon, it's a strong follower. We're going to be doing what's called a dead run at a lobby level. We will be running away from everything on our way to a certain location. And then I'm going to be leading you to a pair of sunglasses that are... You, you're, you're, you're going to be wearing them the rest of the game. You're never going to buy helmet armor ever again. The only helmet armor you're going to require is probably a gas mask for specific areas, but that's it. You should it. put that away. Technology will get you into trouble here. Oh, I really hate talking to these guys. All right. So, that is the Dome City. Along this road, I think it's about right about, yeah, right here. Yep, right there. All right. That's where Arx is. Arx is an Alb companion. You don't need to follow him or do anything or complete some stupid side mission like for Doris or Ray. You literally walk up to him, say some words, and he follows you. He fights at the strength of a level 15 character without any investments. He has a laser rifle and a two-handed hammer. So we're going to... I'm not going to bother fast traveling and going through a load screen. Just run back. So at this moment, I'm level 3. I've only gained 2 levels. We're going to keep your bow equipped, because anything you can take on, hopefully you'll be able to get 2 or 3 shots into to kill. You've already seen me get 1 shotted. Notice I have no skill point investments yet. There's no real point at the moment. At this point, I couldn't win a fight against a... Uh, I couldn't win a fight against a clumsy rock war, even on easy. Just not going to happen. So our primary goal is to stay along the road. Now it's going to be a little bit hard because we have that fracking raptor there. So I probably will die a few times. The trick is to get over to that waypoint I set. Don't stay on the road exclusively. We will be using our jetpack to escape and get around certain enemies. Don't want to get shot by any of the enemies that have rain spit. That will fuck up your day. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get your jetpack back. Alright. Alright, so we need to grab that waypoint really quick. We might run into something on the way there before we get to it, but. I'm 
immediately turn around so you don't grab the runzy the fucking rapper. Run on this side of the wall. Don't cross the river. Do not cross the river. Um, there's gonna be a pack of raptors on that side, uh, to the left, and there's gonna be clumsy raptors, which shoots that terrible venom to the right. So we're just going to be, uh, staying on the wall until we can- okay, there are the raptors. We want to stay ahead of the raptors. I'm gonna quick save really fast. Now the wonderful thing about Elix is when you're in a conversation, even if you have aggro, most enemies will stay there and then lose aggro. Which means you can use conversations to save your ass. Skip that area. Uh, kill these critters. If it says runt, it's probably killable. Runt is the easiest form of a creature. Okay. It's past the rats. So ignore that waypoint. That was just to get us going. We're going to keep running. That's the dome city up ahead. See, these guys will follow you forever. And then we have another set up here. Arcs up ahead in that brick building. Commander, I was one. You stop. Have we? No. We. I. a decent follower. This is the first of two things that makes starting the game easier. I'm still level 3, people. I still have that starting gear. Most people are telling you, oh, do quests to get levels. No, screw that. Okay, now we're going on to the other item. Seeing how that is the domed city, that's, uh, that's a pretty important place. In the distance, do you see that windmill? That's where we're going. That, not the windmill, that wind turbine. So stick to the main road. And at the split, take a left. At the very tippy top of that wind turbine is a set of sunglasses. And those sunglasses highlight items. Like cash, lootables, um, food, power-ups, uh, map pieces, collectibles, stuff like that. If you want to know how to get into this chest, come all the way over here and uh, loot this bag. Da -da, chest key, grab that exit, run all the way back. There you go. That's some early easy exit. That'll get you a few skills. Um, 
Um, don't cross the road now when you see him. That's part of a future quest. What? Jax don't can, uh, to admire the view. take on one or two regular raptors by himself. Which, at the start of the game, is something you, you just can't do until you're level 10. That's, that's just what it is. It also makes a great distraction. You don't want to leave. You'll attract those albs. You don't want to leave this area. Those are enemy albs over there. We got it working. Not the way we want it. But if we start it, I don't we think have I can open this safe. We've got an hour until impact. Not yet. I, I need to have the hacking ability. I won't be able to get back to the dam. Please, please, just let the thing work this time. All right. They say people worship these towers as gods in the old world. So we're gonna get on top of the building. For the inferior to worship us. Look, you see all that? There you go. Do a quick save. will teach you to quick save as you go up, which I highly suggest. There you go, now we have arcs. I don't suggest using arcs for any storyline missions unless you want to be a dick the whole game, but um, because keeping him happy just relies on you being a real sadistic asshole. But uh, using him to complete Missions and quests, getting loot, very cool. I really wish you didn't have to boost twice for your red stuff. Now most people make the mistake of trying to use the platforms on the blades don't. I'm not saying it's impossible, it's just much more difficult, and you don't move as the platform sway, so often they'll just um, sway from underneath you. Your goal is to get the one that is on the back of this. Let's give a quick save again. Alright. Oh, fucking camera. Oh, okay. That's why we quick save. I'm sure someone said, how the come he doesn't quick save when his jetpack fuel is at full? Every time you load a save, your jetpack fuel starts at zero. Got some rockets. Got your sunglasses. You will not wear another pair of anything for the rest of the game except for those. Not even the high tech sunglasses, not even the modern sunglasses. You're going to be wearing those sunglasses. Alright. If you want, you can stop here. This is how you get a really good minion and a necessary piece of gear. Um, if you can, I will show you what these do, but, uh, if this is how far you want to go, that's fine, but I'm going to go after a chain saber. All right, do you see those blue highlights on radar? Those are items. I know the glasses says temporary highlight. It does not temporary highlight anything. It's permanent. Power wave, excellent. I use power wave throughout my entire game when I'm not a cleric, because clerics get a similar ability. But this is the best alb ability. I use it. I buy it when I can. Power wave is amazing. See? 
There's some loot. I didn't even, I knew there was a broom. I didn't know there was a lamp. Congratulations. You now are able to, uh, look on that side. There's a potion and some elix. No, two potions. And a torch. That's what it was. Oh, no. <coughs> All right. Now I'm going to, uh, cut off here and then I'm going to continue the video. I'm going to show you where to get a chain saber. Its stats are I think like 31, 31, 32, 32 for requirements which you can hit really easily. But um, it's extremely powerful. It's a good one-handed weapon and you'll be using it for a bit. All right. All right everybody, welcome back. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Um, this is the teleporter at the Eden place. I just showed you how to get the sunglasses, which is going to help you tremendously for the rest of the game. Um, our next goal is to get a chain saber that we're not going to pay for. I'm still level three. Um, I have zero. Uh, skill points invested in anything through a combination of running past enemies and other uh, things. Oh, look, there's Elix and stuff back there, but I'm not going to risk getting attacked for it. We're going to pass some rats on our left. Not going to bother with those rats. I just don't want to uh, get slammed by any jackals or clumsy rat wolves at this level. Yeah, sure. I'll loot some stuff here. Now you can pay. Sorry, we folks. should cleanse the land of these ruins. The past is only a distraction. No. Too easy. Now I got a good piece of chest armor with our pants. Not bad, huh? Still level three. Not bought in anything. I haven't even been inside goal yet. Oh, we can get that stuff later. So you're going to be forced into a conversation with these uh, separatists. Remember, I'm not teaching you how to play the game. I don't want to give you spoiled sp like lines, so I'm skipping as much as I can. Um, I'm going to try to avoid Ray, if at all possible. He's up here at Sandy Pines. I'm just not going to bother um, getting anywhere near him. I think I can skip the Separatist if I do this. They aren't going to attack you. They're just... Talk, 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 talk. Let me do it. Hey. And if you've been following this, you should still be less than an hour into the game. You probably you might be close to an hour if you did all the cutscenes. Get back on the highway after avoiding the separatists. Uh, avoid the jackal. It's not that you can't kill the jackal. You have arcs with you. I just don't want to risk getting one-shotted. Not really big on that at the moment. Uh, that's Sandy Pines. And, uh... I might be able to yank that uh, travel point without pulling any mutants. Yep, I can. So if you get too close, you're going to activate Ray. I'm just going to try to skip Ray. 
You'd be like, oh, grab Ray at the beginning. Eh, you can't. You actually gotta cross this desert after talking to Ray and make a decision towards hot and cold, and that's not what this is about. So if there's a no way to avoid hot or cold, I'm going to do it. Alright, we've skipped Ray. Okay, I'm gonna show you a few things. I have sand in my armor and sand in my ass. <laughs> Too much information. My ball sack is being rubbed raw too. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you for that. Let's try to avoid the devil thing if possible. Just try to stay ahead of it. Alright. Another nifty piece of uh weaponry. Now I've never played the outlaw playthrough, so I don't know if you can eventually get this from vendors. But I know where it is in the real world. It is a heavy weapon. Throughout the game, you're going to come across someone shooting something at you that uses the ammo called projectile. Yeah, I know. Really inventive. Somewhere around here should be... There it is. A campfire and the kaboom. And a poacher's amulet. Congratulations, you have now made your life infinitely more easier when roaming around. The poacher's amulet, which I keep on by default, unless I'm picking a lock. Makes it so those dinky little animals like rats and the whatnot don't bother you. And as you get to higher levels, anything that's not really challenging to you, like raptors, even eventually like bigger creatures, like um... Basically, anything non-mutant, non-cyborg will start leaving you alone when you get to a higher level. Anything trivial. And eventually those things will be trivial. They'll leave you alone, eventually. But alright. You now have a poacher's amulet. It gives you plus two to your survival ranking for speech checks, and it gives you the friend to beast ability. Now, even though you have your rusty axe still, you have leg armor, you have chest armor, you have two useful necklaces, you have uh, probably the most useful head item in the game completely. It's better than high tech. It's, um, it is the best pair of glasses, especially if you're a collector like me. In fact, I have 91% of the trophies. Um, this will be my third playthrough of the game. I've already beaten it as a cleric and as a uh, berserker. Uh, this playthrough, I'm going to be an outlaw. And I'm going to have a very low cold. I'm going for the low cold achievement, the learn all outlaw skills achievement, the join the outlaws achievement, and the kill the hybrid achievement which is one of the three possible endings. Sorry. There are three endings. Kill the hybrid, the hybrid work for the hybrid, and um, make the hybrid work for you. Uh, you're going to want to hang on to all of your bone. Um, there's actually a really sweet recipe that's going to replace your need for healing potions entirely. And it requires um, bone, wine, and large healing plants. It gives you plus 10 armor and an insane health regen of 512 health points per second for 20 seconds. It's nuts. So now that I think we're in a little bit of a safer area, I'm going to show you where we're going. We're on our way to get the chain saber. Which is roughly, see that's a southern area, so I think it's about, I th think that's the location. Estimated. Uh, we're going to have to take on some jackals to save a guy's life. Something that I can't easily take on. Uh, cut across here, just... Uh, Don't fall off to the right, and don't get too close to the left. 
We're gonna hear some radioactivity click. Just try to avoid it. It's in that hut. If we get too far to the right, we're gonna attract some mutants. Don't fall down there, or you're gonna have to run past mutants. Still level three. Uh, don't get too close to that building. That's called the wind farm. Uh, that's part of a later companion quest. <laughs> and going there now, you will die. They have guns. They would one-shot you. Guaranteed. The guy we're going to visit is called, I think his name is Skinner. Oh, you do want to grab the uh, fast travel point here if you want. Now you should you pay. Grab some Alexit. I don't know where you're going, dude. Leave them alone, man. Now you should pay. No, no, don't attack them. Come on, buddy. Oh, fuck me. Nope, 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 nope. Quick save right about here. It is possible for this guy to die. You don't want him to because of possible XP for a future quest. And uh, if you go with the clerics, there's another thing involving him. So I'm going to uh, contact grenade. Over there. My arcs handles him. Watch out. Slam a potion. Good job, arcs. Make sure the jackpot here is taken care of. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I did not mean to do that. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Shit. <laughs> frack me in the frack and fracker. We're very close. All right, let's let's try this one more time, huh? Let's uh, try not to. Um... All right, contact grenade. See, I, I provide a nice distraction for these guys. Wasn't that fun? Alright. 
And so you're still level three. And uh, might want to do a quick save here. The weapon we want is oh, on good. that table. Some outlaw. But here's the thing. You Ultimate have to steal play it. At being junior berserkers. The worst of both worlds. So we're gonna wait until he's not looking. The best way to do that is to wait till he's yeah, right about there. He's gonna start working on that. And then take the chain saber. Alright. You're done. You now have the chain saber. It's better than the chain sword, but it requires a little bit more stats. It's the improved version of the chain sword. The chain saber requires 31 31, which is fantastic because that is when the point still costs one attribute each. Uh, come over here and uh, grab the stuff in the back of the truck. All right. And you want to grab the stuff that's up there. Primitive compared to our rate. Come on. Come on. Still faster than walking. In pain? You should keep up with your training. Then you wouldn't complain. You love what an asshole he is. We played KOTOR. It's like traveling with a Sith. Actually, that's exactly what it's like. If you want to be a freaking Dark Side of the Force dick, travel with him. Alright. So now let's take a look at the time. You are now at... Hour zero, minute 54. Died twice due to some mistakes, had to reload. You have a companion who's durable. You have the poacher's amulet, which is going to be so useful to you. You have leg armor, chest armor. You're never going to wear anything else except for that one gas mask during poison radiation zones. I guarantee it. Um, you got a hatchet if you want it. I don't want it. You got a chain saber waiting for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you got a heavy weapon. If you're joining the outlaws, you'll be able to craft ammunition for it. So there you go. Uh, yeah. You're welcome. That's how you start Elix. Peace. Oh, if you want to get back to town without dying, it's easy. Just do to do fast travel to... Goylet. All right. I'm going to compile these three little videos together, upload them to YouTube, link it to the Steam forums. Remember, I'm on PS4. They have not released the patch for the PS4. They've only released it for the PC. So, there you go. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy.